there is no advantage to taking a home loan with a higher interest rate. For the most part, it just means you get to pay more money. Hi, I'm Ryan Ong from Stacked Homes. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about home loans. It's a very common question, why exactly do home loans have different interest, rate between, interest rates between banks and how do those particular interest rates come about? So to begin with, let's talk about how the interest rate on your home loans are set in the first place. An interest rate can be based on the Singapore Interbank Offered Rate or CIBOR or it can be based on the bank's board rate which means that the interest rate is simply set by your bank. One variation of the board rate, by the way, is a fixed deposit based loan where the interest rate on your loan is based on the fixed deposit set by the bank. We'll begin with the CIBOR. The CIBOR rate can be checked on the Association of Banks of Singapore website. This changes all the time. When you use the CIBOR rate, your interest rate is the underlying CIBOR rate plus a spread, a fee or charge by the bank. For example, if you see a rate such as 3M CIBOR plus 0.25, that means that your interest rate is going to be the three month CIBOR rate plus the bank spread of 0.25. Note that it's possible to get a 1M, 3M, 6M, even 9M CIBOR rate. This means that besides the fluctuations of CIBOR changing your interest rate, the amount of the bank spread also affects the overall rate that you're paying. Next, let's talk a little bit about board rates. With board rates, that simply means that you are agreeing to accept an interest rate set by your bank. It's really that simple. There are some variations of board rates. Probably the most popular one is one in which your interest rate is pegged to a particular tranche of fixed deposits in a bank. This is liked by some people because it's believed to disincentivize the bank from raising your interest rate. After all, if the bank wants to raise your interest rate this way, they will also end up having to pay a higher interest on fixed deposits. Whether or not the, a bank's board rate is a good deal varies greatly because promotions, deals and offers change all the time. So this is something for which you do need to consult a specialist such as a mortgage broker. As a final aside, I do just want to quickly point out, Cyborg may soon be replaced. We do not know when exactly, but it may soon be replaced by a rate called Sora, which is the Singapore Overnight Rate Average. The only difference between Sora and Cyborg that matters to a home buyer is that Sora is believed to be less volatile. It will still fluctuate, it will move up and down like Cyborg, but it may not jump or fall in as big an increment as Cyborg might. Next, let's talk about some other factors that affect how the bank charges you an interest rate besides the underlying Cyborg rate, board rate, or Sora when it comes about. The first is simply mortgage demand and the general state of the real estate market. Home loans are affected by supply and demand, just like everything else. The more people there are who want a home loan, the higher the rates tend to go. The fewer people there are who want a home loan, the lower the rates tend to go. The second reason is the quota. Without going too much into banking issues, I'm going to simplify this a bit and say that banks generally have a fixed quota, a set target on how much they want to loan out. You may find that as a bank nears its quota or as a bank reaches its quota, the interest rates on its loans will start to go up. If a bank hasn't yet reached its quota, the interest rates might be lower. And this is why at any given time, even though there could be hundreds of bank loans available on the market, there tend to be perhaps two or three banks that have the cheapest offers. And because it changes all the time, you do need the help of a specialist like a mortgage broker to help you pick out what are your cheapest options. So as a concluding point, I'm going to answer the question, as to why the banks with higher rates or the highest rates at that point still bother even advertising their loans and why some people would still go after these loans. The first answer is to tell you there is no advantage to taking a home loan with a higher interest rate. For the most part, it just means you get to pay more money. That's it. But there are reasons why people still may take these. One of these is when it's an absolute emergency. So let's say someone has secured the option to purchase they put down the deposit on a new condo, but then find out that the bank with the cheapest rate isn't going to extend them a loan. This forces them to have to scramble and quickly get a home loan within the next 14 or 21 days. This sort of urgency may force them into accepting a loan from a bank that has a higher interest rate. This is, by the way, one of the reasons why we always say 
you should get approval in principle before you put down the deposit for any home. Another reason could be bonus tiers. Some banks have bonus savings tiers. For example, if you have your home loan from the same bank and you also credit your salary to the same bank, you may get a higher interest rate on your savings account. For these situations, you really need to work out whether the bonus savings that you'll get is worth it compared to the higher interest loan that you're paying. Next reason is there may not be a choice. When you are about purchasing a property, such as say a resale property, the selling price might be different from the actual valuation. For example, the valuation on a resale condo might be 1 million. The seller might want 1 million and 50,000 for it. In such a situation, that 50,000 will not be covered by the bank loan and you'll have to pay for it in cash. So sometimes buyers go out and find other banks that are willing to accept a higher valuation on their home. Unfortunately, this may mean accepting a bank that charges them a higher interest rate. And finally, this is quite an arguable point. There are special features in some home loans. We do see exotic features all the time. From the days of when we had hybrid rates, where the average of two different underlying rates were used, to interest offset loans, where the interest rate on your savings deposit is used to offset the, the interest on the home loan. There are many such unusual variations, options, features. Whether or not these justify a higher interest rate is really a matter of debate. Banks innovate all the time. Uh, these, this is a subject that has to be reviewed and considered in depth whenever we see it. If you do need help for that, if you see unusual features in your bank loan or if you just want the cheapest rate, do reach out to us on Facebook. Uh, the people at Stacked Homes, we're always here and ready to help you with that. And finally, do also follow us on Stacked Homes where we're going to review properties, property related services so that you can get a loan on the better properties. Mm -hmm.